first of all, talk us through the goal. How did that feel? Yeah, it was an unbelievable feeling um, to come on and make my debut um, and score as well. Yeah, it was a great feeling. Obviously, frustration at the end not to, to see out the game, but on a personal note, I'm very happy. What did it mean to be part of quite a character-fueled performance from Sheffield United in the way that they were defending and possibly could have nicked it? Yeah, yeah, it was massive. Um, we showed great fight in our in our own box to keep the ball out of the net. Um, and yeah, we're down to 10 men as well, and it just shows the character that we have in the team, that whether we have 11 or 10 men on the pitch, we're going to keep fighting and make it difficult for other teams. What did you make to the sending off? I didn't really see, I haven't seen it back, I didn't really see it clear, but um, yeah, it's, it's been given now. We can't can't say much about it now, we'll change it, but, but yeah, it just shows the attitude we had out there afterwards um, to keep going. How important was it in the end to get something, just to break the sequence of defeats? Yeah, definitely. It's massive. Every point is big in the Premier League and I think we'll take it with confidence and it was a good performance as well, regardless of, of how many points we got from the game, but we'll take it into the next game and, and we'll keep fighting. Did you feel as though you'd got there, they were, they'd had a few chances that were extraordinarily pushed away, etc., that it might actually fall for Sheffield United? Um, yeah, I mean, they had some good chances, but we had a great chance as well um, to go 2-0 two two up. So it's just how football goes sometimes and you've got to take the positives from it and move on quickly. What about you then? You've waited and waited, not been in that many squads, so when did you get the call? Um, well, yeah, I've got obviously nine people players on the bench, so I got onto the bench and then was just sat there, um, got told to go and warm up. And, and yeah, it was just, just like that. It happened so quick that you don't even get much time to think about it, really. Is that a good thing then? Yeah, <laughs> You don't have probably, to sit there yeah. stewing about it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm, I'm delighted with it and grateful for the opportunity being given to me. So how do you see things now moving moving forward then? Clearly you've always been in the, mi the mind, you've been in the squad, but then fans can see a bit more of you. Yeah, I think it's just it's just down to whatever team plays. Um, everyone give their all and contribute as much as possible. Um, whether you're in the squad or out of the squad, it's important to have a positive dressing room and we've definitely got that. I wonder how important you think this, this period is, because, well, look, they're all formidable opponents, of course they are, but... In Palace and Burnley after the Everton game, you've got two sides that might not be too far away from Sheffield United in the points reckoning come the end of the season. Yeah, I just think we need to take each game in our stride and, and build on performances. We'll take confidence from this one going into the next one. And and yeah, we need to stick together as a group and, and focus on the things that we do well in, in training, on the pitch, off the pitch, and, and stick together when it comes to a game day. How, impo yeah, how important is that mentality? Because look, if, you, if you're not together, you're definitely going down. If you are together, you've got a chance. Yeah, that's, that's how it goes. And we definitely believe we've still got a chance. We've got, as I said, we've got a great dressing room, a great, great coaching staff. Um, so yeah, it's just important that we, we keep putting positive performances on the pitch and, and things will definitely start to, to change for us in a, a much more positive way.